Taoiseach, um, you do know that cystic fibrosis uh, is a very serious uh, issue in Ireland. We have the largest cohort of population or people per capita um, who suffer from cystic fibrosis, who live with cystic fibrosis, uh, and all of the challenges that presents. We've had some great testimonies from people with cystic fibrosis in terms of how it affects their lives, and in particular about the impact of the latest very effective medicine or, or can be can have, the transformative effect it can have. I would ask you, Taoiseach, to read an article by Gillian McNulty today who lives with CF in the Irish Independent. It's a heart-rending article, brilliantly written and conveys better than anybody um, the nature of, that, of the impact of the illness and also the transformative effect of our cambi. She writes that CF is a lonely, traumatising, unforgiving, frightening illness. Yet there's one thing that has made a difference to my life, or can be, she writes. She goes on, before or can be, I was approximately eight months of the year in hospital. In the last three years, I have spent just 12 weeks in hospital. Incredible, unquote. Now, Taoiseach, uh, there was an attempt to denigrate the drug earlier on in leaks from the HEC and others. We now know that that drug, or can be, has received the Drug Discovery of the Year Award from the British Pharmacological Society and the French pre Gallian Award for the most promising rare disease medicine in 2016. Now, the manufacture of rare disease medicine and orphan drugs, as we call them, is challenging to countries all over the world. And we need to change how we do that in this country, and cystic fibrosis have asked for that. But the bottom line, Taoiseach, is that this drug has a very significant impact on quality of life, on the, the uh, longevity of, of people living with CF, hospital admissions, um, and lung function, and, and so forth. So there's no doubt about the effectiveness of, of, of the drug itself. Agreement has been reached in Germany, um, in Austria, and in the United States, so the people with CF in those countries can avail uh, of the medicine there. Now, going back over a year and a bit, Taoiseach, there's been engagement with the company. That ramped up in the last month or so. My understanding is it's gone through the Drugs Committee, uh, that it's gone to the HSE Directorate. My understanding is that the new offer from Vertex to the, to the HSE is far more significant, perhaps, or different than the previous offers in terms of reduced pricing, but more critically in terms of covering future pipeline medications that cover the, the, Del F, um, the, the F508 Dell uh, cohort of CF people in this country. In other words, future better medications will be part of the deal uh, that, that they can benefit from, and that is a long-term dimension to it, and it covers Kaleidico um, as well. Now, Tisha, the basic question I have to you is this. Uh, I think people have been patient. I think the Cystic Fibrosis Association and its chief, chief executive officer have been very reasonable. Uh, I would ask you, can you uh, reveal to the House or let the House know at when we can expect a decision in relation to um, uh, facilitating the availability of our canby to people with CF thank in this you, country who can benefit from it. Uh, thank you, Deputy Martin. The, the article is very well written, and it's one of a series of articles written over the last number of years about the impact of, uh, of drugs on the quality of life of cystic fibrosis sufferers. Um, Minister Harris met with the cystic fibrosis uh, personnel during the course of the week. Now, you have it accurately, uh, Deputy Martin. You have it accurately because uh, uh, Ocampi and, uh, is, is a, a drug that impacts on the quality of life of a patient with cystic fibrosis. It's on the quality of life. And it is not the minister who determines the value or otherwise of, uh, of, uh, of, of how that quality of life is actually determined. That's done by, um, in this case, by Professor Barry, who has commented on this in the past. Now, it's taken Minister Harris to shift emphasis uh, to major pharmaceutical companies to understand that there is a, that there is a limit uh, to how far one can go here and to get a balance between having that quality of life for cystic fibrosis sufferers in this case um, and having the taxpayer pay exorbitant amounts of money uh, for what was being demanded in respect of the drug. Now it is true to say uh, that Vertex uh, have made an offer but what Minister Harris is, is trying to do here, Deputy Martin, is to bring about a situation where you're not going from year to year uncertain 
in what the future holds for any of the categories of patients, in this case cystic fibrosis. And that's why the Minister wants to do a deal with the company and the companies in respect of Orcampi and Kelly Deco and any other future drug that comes on that may be beneficial to the quality of life of cystic fibrosis sufferers. And I think he's right in that, because you don't want a situation where you have Orcampi, for instance, uh, being made available to patients at price X based on the improvement in their quality of life, and find that that situation changed six months down the line or 12 months down the line. And what Minister Harris is doing here is to put, in, put together a, a future certainty for cystic fibrosis sufferers to deal with a pipeline of drugs, be it Orcampi or Calideco, or new drugs that come on the scene as well as they do every year. <coughs> so I expect that the Minister will be able to conclude his deliberations um, uh, in, uh, inside a couple of weeks with certainty for inside a couple of weeks with certainty for all the cystic fibrosis patients that we have in the country and God knows we have many of them more so than most other countries. But that Deputy Martin will give a certainty to those cystic fibrosis sufferers, whether it's our Campi or Kylie Deco or whatever other pipeline of new drug may come on the market in respect of the treatment of cystic fibrosis. I think that's a very good thing to do. I think it's the right way to go. And I do hope that when a decision is reached, that it will provide that certainty for all the range of patients who have cystic fibrosis. Thank in the you, country. Tishuk. Deputy Martin. Tishuk, that's already done. Essentially. I mean, that long term deal is, has been proposed, has been given. It's gone through the Drugs Committee. Uh, it was, it's February the 3rd now, Tishuk, since anybody has heard anything from any uh, HSE or any authorised state personnel with, uh, in relation to this issue. Vertex simply, I certainly haven't got it back any response to the deal that they've put on the table, as outlined by you there. In other words, a long-term deal, a ten-year deal is my understanding, covering Kaleidico, obviously in our Canby, covering pipeline drugs that may be better than our Canby into the future. And this has been my point all along. We should be at the vanguard of this research. You know, given the large number of people with CF in this country, we should be leading the charge on this. Uh, and I think the point is this, Tisha, a month has now gone by since that offer that you've described, you've described it in terms of what the Minister is looking for, but actually that's what's been offered. Um, so uh, it remains to be seen. Has the HSE Directorate made a recommendation to the Government you, on Deputy. this? Yes or no, Tisha? Could you indicate that to me? Um, uh, and has it, has it made a recommendation following the, the offer that was made over a month ago? Thank I think you, people Deputy. are waiting too long, Tisha. Uh, and for someone living with cystic fibrosis, this is an intolerable strain on them and their families. Uh, and I think you know that. Uh, and everybody in this House knows that. And there's an obligation Time to bring this Deputy. to a conclusion. Thank you, Councillor. Um, I think, <coughs> obviously, Deputy Martin has got uh, quite, a, uh, quite a bit of detail about this. I think, though, it's, it is fair to say that what the Minister, what the minister wants, to do here, what he wants to do here is to future-proof the quality of life and the lives of patients, in this case, who have cystic fibrosis. I think that's the right path to follow. No other category before have ever been future-proofed in this way. So what needs to be dealt with now, uh, Deputy Martin, is the finalisation of the contractual and the commercial details of our campi, of Kelly Deco, and arrangements for whatever other pipeline of drugs that come on the scene uh, for cystic fibrosis sufferers. And the Minister expects to conclude that uh, inside a matter of weeks. I know that it's not today and it's not tomorrow. But it is very important that in respect of uh, CF patients, and the article today expresses that very clearly about the impact on their lives, uh, both for our Campi and Kylie Deco, and a pipeline for the future that will guarantee that those people in our country who suffer from cystic fibrosis have, a, have whatever degree of certainty we can give them for the future you, in respect of their treatment and as a consequence for the improvement in the quality of life that they will have. And that's why Minister is working very hard to finalise this the commercial, the contractual details for the future of the cystic fibrosis patients. Thank you very much, Tishik.